guys so this is going to be a vlog video i want to talk about who done it some more um so who done it is hang on who done it is on episode six out of should be eight or nine so we're about halfway through the season and this is a spoiler alert so spoiler 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 stop now if you don't want to hear any more of me talking about who died stop okay so Gino died in this one, and I'm pretty pissed because I really like Gino's character. Sorry, mosquito. Um, they're really, I really like Gino's character, and he's gone now, so I'm pretty bummed about that. Um, I still think Cam is the killer. So you got Cam, Chris, Ronnie, and Melina. And Melina, Ronnie dies at the end of this episode, which I'm kind of happy because Ronnie was really grimy. And if it was me, I would have wanted him out because the way he did Gino and I used him out like that, that was pretty cold. Um, but I think Cam is a killer still. Cam seems to be um, the master puppeteer puppeting around his little group. Um, it would, Yeah, he seems like the pretty most obvious person because he's the biggest a-hole. Um, but at the same time, um, I've heard different views that are like, oh, Chris is the killer because, you know, she knows how to use a gun. Melina's the killer because she's never gotten a scare card. Oh, well, look, she got a scare card this episode. Lindsay's never gotten a, a scare card. And Lindsay and Melina have, they're like second and third on who I think the killer is. Um, it'll be based off who dies in the next episode. Um, for Ronnie's death will make me make my decision. Now, if Cam gets kicked out, then it's only going to be girls left, and I think that would be really odd. Um, what I've noticed, if there's been a pattern, they've been doing like guy, girl, guy, girl, guy, girl. So the guy just died, so a girl has to die unless there's another double murder. And let me talk about that double murder episode. I had the heebie jeebies, was freaked out, it was creepy. And I really could not sleep that night because I kept thinking something was going to come and chloroform me and take me out. So, that episode was really freaky. I just want you guys, producers, to know that that was really clever but scary at the same time. So, um, I was really curious to figure out how the heck, it, it had me boggle all week trying to figure out how the heck did the guy get, guy or girl get two bodies in one so um, I still think Cam's a killer um, everybody else Cam it, it just seems like um, he just seems like the most he still wears dark clothing um, he always seems to be like demanding and go away he knows where stuff is he always wants to go to the morgue like who wants to pick the morgue? I would never pick the morgue. I would probably miss the most details, but I don't like dead bodies. He just seems really interested in that. Um, people that keep thinking, oh, it's based off the killer. He wears all black, you know. That, that shape is like this person. They've already said that there's an actor that plays the killer, so you don't see the killer. So stop thinking that based off what the killer in black is wearing, that's who it is, because it's not. It's not Giles, it's not one of the maids, it's actually one of the contestants. I've already read it up because I thought it might be the um, butler too, but it's not. Um, but Cam just has high a-hole tendencies and people like that, you know, I mean he might just be an a-hole in real life. Um, Chris doesn't seem like she has an inner, but maybe she had a scarred childhood. Melina, on this next episode, if she flips the script like they're making it seem like, then maybe she has high tendency to be like, oh, you thought I couldn't do it? Check it out. Look what I can do. And then Lindsay is just, I don't know. I mean, maybe she's smarter than her character is coming off as, but I just don't see it yet. So we'll see based on next week. Um, but I'm still really enjoying the show, and I'm really trying to figure out how the heck the season finale is going to go. Because you're going to have three people left, right? One's the killer. One's the killer. One's the person that's going to reveal. And then the other person has to die. So you're going to have three people still in the house. And, like, I don't know if they're going to have to be like, oh, go on the scavenger hunt to find the killer. 
And then while the people are away, like the killer takes out the last person, and then the person that's looking for who the killer is finds a clue, and then finds the killer in the room, and then da da, that's the killer. Or how they're gonna do that one? I think that's I'm trying to figure out the finale on it, but I'm pretty sad that Don and um, Gino are gone. I'm happy to see Ronnie go because he was grimy. I didn't think that was right how he did that. And I was really creeped out by the way Dana and Sasha got taken out. Um, Ulysses, that was a pretty clever way to do it with the snake. Um, but all the other deaths, Dante and Adriana and um, the cheerleader, like those aren't as memorable as the other ones that I, I just talked about. So we will see who done it. But who do you think, if you're still watching it with me? Um, come back and check me out. I'll probably come back for the finale and talk about what I thought of the season. I'm really still trying to figure out how they're going to do a second season. Unless they just get another batch of people and Giles is the host again. And, you know, they just keep going that way. But it's like, how do you make another season about death? Um, I like... Law and Order and CSI, so I think that's the only reason I'm intrigued by the episodes. Um, but I don't see this becoming a Law and Order CSI type show that has like consistent seasons and spinoffs and stuff. Like, how do you do this? It's just a big version of Clue. So we'll see. Thank you for watching. Um, comment below some comments. All right, bye.